look in her eye. I know. Beautiful picture. We realised there was an issue with Annie when she was about six months. What's your name? Annie. She has cerebral palsy, left-sided hemiplegia. She has hypermobility as well. And in the same year, she developed epilepsy. We fought for a long time to get her diagnosis of autism. By the time she was three, she'd just smack her head on the wall. We're watching a child do that. Yeah. She tends to just shout without any warning. No! I'm sorry. No! She doesn't stop and then start again 10 minutes later. It's a constant. When the issue comes in for us is wanting to do something social. It splits us as a family. <laughs> I also think when you start seeing the effects it has on the other two as well. Harry being the first child, he was always looking out for her. You shouldn't have to hear your child telling you that they're worried about his sister having a fit at that age. I will love you. Look at them. He's a young carer. Yeah. It is hard to see him growing up like that. You just want him to be a child. Get her meds together. It was appointments and paediatricians and MRIs and we were just dealing with that every day. Everyone loves Annie, but knowing the boys are missing out makes us feel really bad. Yeah. Really guilty. Yeah. You know, huh, I'm going. For a long time, there was nothing that we could do. Love you. I love you. We just couldn't go on as we were. And then I called Norwood. They provided a counselling group with other children like me who had a sibling who had special needs. It was an opportunity to let it all out. And buckets and spades. It's overnight respite where we can send Annie. Hey Annie, do you want to come and see your room? I like the pillow. You like the pillow? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> can I share my cake with Daddy, Harry, Samuel and Mummy? Of course you can. As soon as I went in, I knew she'd love it. She has such she has a, great a great time. time. <laughs> if we have something going on with the boys, it means we can do it. That's really reassuring. It means so much. I might fall. You might, but if you keep pedalling, you might not. We can do the normal things that other families will take for granted. <laughs> <laughs> Without Norwood, I dread to think what it would have been like. <laughs> They are that backbone. Yeah. <laughs> I think it made us more able to cope. 